the Neverfull. We all know her and love her because she is a classic luxury bag that's durable, elegant, classy, and lasts forever. It's also a really safe investment in terms of money because with the Louis Vuitton price increases on their classic bags, the Neverfull keeps going up in value. I want to say, I remember that when I lived in New York in 2013, that bag was around $900. Now, in order to get the Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the MM or GM sizes, it ranges in the 15 to 1650 price range. Now that's if you wanna get it in monogram, Damier Azur, or the Damier Abin leathers. But if you wanna get it in a nicer leather, one of their seasonal leathers, those are about $2,000 and above. But regardless of the price, the Louis Vuitton Neverfull is a bag that a lot of people go to as their first luxury bag because it's iconic. It's what you think of when you think of luxury. You think of Louis Vuitton and the Neverfull. Also, that bag has a really uncanny way of being both elegant and casual at the same time. So it's great for everyday life. I know a lot of moms like to use it because they can stuff all of their kids' items, their snacks, their diapers in that bag and they're good to go. And a lot of other women like to use it for their work bag because they can fit their laptop, if they need a change of shoes, gym clothes, and all of their everyday essentials. So clearly, I am a fan of the Louis Vuitton Neverfull and I know a lot of you are too. And I know that a lot of you are probably thinking about buying it as either one of your first luxury bags or say you need your next everyday tote bag. Now I was inspired by a video that I saw by another YouTuber that you probably know called Isabel Style, who does a lot of great luxury and fashion videos and I'll be sure to link her specific video below, but she did a video about alternatives to the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. And it got me thinking that there are also a lot of other great alternatives to the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. So I wanted to call out a few different bags that I think are great alternatives and they all hit on different areas of what's so great about the Neverfull. So there are some that are in the more affordable price range. So, you know, one to $2,000. Now I know that one to $2,000 is a lot of money, but in terms of luxury bags, that's on the lower end of what a designer bag can cost. Now I've also found bags that are just good, big, everyday totes that you can put a lot in. They're very functional. Some of them have additional shoulder straps, which are really nice to have. And then I also found some in some beautiful, recognizable logo prints. For those of you that are just trying to like flex with a little bit of luxury, you want people to know that this is a designer bag. So I've added some of those into the list. So I think I've got a good mix here and I'm really excited to share these with you. So the first bag on the list is actually the only one that I have shared with Isabel's style and it's because I have it and I am in love with this bag. It is the Saint Laurent East West shopping bag. So I actually have this bag in the gray color. I've had this bag since I think 2017, I believe. And this is an amazing bag. Now, Compared to the Louis Vuitton Neverfull, this is a more understated bag. Obviously, the way you're looking at it now does not have any recognizable logo branding on it. Now, it originally did come with a gold hot stamp saying Saint Laurent, but I think using it day in and day out like I did, I probably rubbed it off. But you'll notice that there's a little hang tab here that does have the Saint Laurent logo. So, if you want to flex, if you want people to know that this is a Saint Laurent bag, all you have to do is take off the cover. So, there you go. And now everyone knows, oops, I think I put it on backwards. <laughs> now everyone knows that this is a Saint Laurent bag. So now the beauty of this bag is that it only costs 1,090 US dollars for a full leather bag. You cannot beat that price in terms of luxury. And also, even though I know they call it their supple leather, this leather is very, very durable. I've had this bag for four years and it was my everyday work bag for about three years until COVID hit and I had to stop going into the office. And I only have one noticeable mark on the bag, but this wasn't just my everyday work bag. This is also still my travel bag that I use when I go onto planes. This is my personal bag. So I do stuff it under the seat in front of me, which I probably shouldn't do. But as you can see for leather, this is such a great bag. Also, what I really like about it is that the straps are 
thicker than the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. Now, I've heard that a lot of people say that the Neverfull kind of digs into their shoulder once you pack it up since it's a big bag because the straps are a little bit thinner. Because these straps are thicker, the straps more evenly distribute the weight across your shoulder so it doesn't feel like it's like digging into your shoulder. Also, another great thing about this bag is that it does have the magnetic closure. So even though it's not a zipper closure, it does have the ability to close up so you can stop bigger things from coming out. And like the Neverfull, it comes with a removable SLG pouch. So what I like to do is I put, you know, my little chapsticks, my hand sanitizer, personal items and that inside here and just keep it zipped up. And if I'm ever switching to another large bag, all you have to do is undo the strap here and toss it into the next bag. So you've got all your essentials with you ready to go. And it is a nice, beautiful leather pouch. Again, here you can kind of see the hot stamp that was originally on the bag that rubbed off. Love that it comes with an SLG. Now, this is an open bag. So if you like a bag with more organizational features, you should buy a bag organizer for it. But I actually really like the fact that it's open because then when I travel, I can stuff anything that I need in here. Sometimes I feel that bags with the organizational compartments kind of limit you. So I would rather be able to buy a bag organizer to put inside of it and choose when I want that added level of structure or not. When I store this bag, I do keep it stuffed since it is a bit more of a floppy bag. It won't lose its shape, but this bag is an incredible value for money, all leather, and Saint Laurent has it in so many different colors. If you look on the website, they've always got, you know, a black, a nude, a gray, maybe like a, a blue, maroon, and dark green, and I'll put some up on the screen so you can take a look at them. But again, this is hands down one of my favorite bags in my entire collection that I own because it's super functional, amazing quality, and I like that it looks very contemporary, very chic. You know, it, it doesn't really scream luxury at you, but again, if you know, you know. Now the next bag on the list is the Celine Horizontal Cabas Tote in, I believe what they're calling like a textile embroidery logo fabric but I just think of it as like their new signature logo fabric. Similar to Dior's oblique print, now I think Celine's really gotten into their own type of logo print. I think that this bag is absolutely beautiful because it's got a bit more of a structured boxy shape, which I think makes it look really chic, really elegant, and it also has leather lined corners, which I think really help with durability and also structure and protecting the bag. I also really like that this bag comes with a zip compartment, again, because it's really good to keep your personal items in there. And it's also got this beautiful golden logo on the front with their new Triumph CC logo, which again, I think is becoming a classic for Celine. It's staying around, it's not going anywhere. And who doesn't love a Celine bag? Also, this bag is not too bad in terms of price. It's $2,600. So it's not the cheapest on the list, but it's definitely not the most expensive one that we're gonna talk about today. So another great recommendation. Now the next bag that we're gonna talk about, I'm also fortunate enough to have in my wardrobe, and it is the Prada Leather Zip Tote here. Now Prada doesn't just have one style of this bag. Every season they do a variation of this bag. So this is one from a few years ago that I got and to be honest, I haven't used it as much as I thought I would, and I think it's because of the color. So I know a lot of people are fans of, you know, the Hermes color gold. A lot of people think of like a luggage, a caramel, a cognac color. And for me, truthfully, I tend to stick more in like the black, gray, white realm. So I think because of that, I don't use this bag as much. I really wish I had bought it in the black color so I might consider selling it and kind of swapping it out for a black color version because I do love this bag. So again, it is not an overall logo bag like the Neverfull, but it does have this nice, very recognizable Prada emblem. And depending on the season, it might have the triangle or it might just have the metal directly on the bag, but it always comes in gorgeous Prada leathers. I love their pebbled leather because it's really durable and also really soft. So I think it's kind of like the best of both worlds that it still feels luxurious, but also doesn't get scratched easily. Now this bag has the really nice length shoulder strap. So it does easily, you know, go over the shoulder and it also has a nice zipper 
mm, zipper. So the bag does close, but it doesn't zip all the way across. The zipper does stop. So just be aware that like, if you're gonna lay the bag down, some of your smaller items like a lipstick or a pen could fall out of the side. But I think that the zipper is really nice. Oh, I've got it twisted. And it also has a really cute little bit of leather on the pull tab, which I think is really nice. Now, in addition to that, the bag is lined with the Prada signature fabric there. So it's got that nice branding throughout. And I think that's something that's really nice about luxury are all the details on the inside that you get to see and enjoy. And it does also have two pockets. So I do have some things in this one, but this one has a magnetic closure, a magnetic closure here. And then this one has a zipper pocket. So overall, again, this is really nice because it zips up. So you've got a little bit more security with the bag and it's a great price too. This bag is less than $2,000. It's only $19.90. And for a large Prada bag, that is an amazing price. So I definitely recommend this bag. And I, you may see that I swapped this out for a black one in my wardrobe in the near future. This next bag is probably my second favorite one on the list other than the Saint Laurent shopping bag. And it is the Fendi Peekaboo X Tote. Now, I do have to admit, this is not a cheap bag. This bag costs 3,590 US dollars, but it is so chic that I think it's totally worth the money. It's also really functional. Now this bag has the really nice logo canvas material. So you are serving up, you know, that nice little logo flex as you're wearing your logo bag. But the nice thing is that it's a, a white on white color. So it is a little bit more understated while still being logo. And for a lot of people that don't even know Fendi, they would probably just think that it's a nice textile print, which again, makes the bag really, really cool. Now, something really nice about this bag is that it's got two sets of straps. So it's got your normal top handle strap, so you can carry it in your hand if you want. And if you're on the smaller side, you might be able to, you know, put it in the crook of your arm or even all the way up to your shoulder. But it does also have a second set of much longer straps, so you can wear it over your shoulder and the bag would hang probably, you know, midway down your body, which is really nice. I think when you're running errands and all that, you don't have to worry about constantly, you know, hiking the bag up on your shoulder. As you know, a lot of these other shoulder bags and tote bags can tend to fall down. This one's definitely going to stay up on your shoulder. And again, it's got those thicker straps, just like the Saint Laurent tote. So the weight will be more evenly distributed. And this bag is more of an open style on the inside. So again, if you need more organization, more compartments, just get a bag organizer to put into it. I'm sure one of the Louis Vuitton ones would fit in there just fine, but it does also have one zip pocket that hangs in the bag, again, for all your little personal items that you wanna keep in there. But honestly, for me, regardless of what the bag has on the inside, I think that the outside is so chic. You could wear it with like an all white or all camel outfit and you would just be this like beautiful neutral drink of water with your super fab Fendi X tote bag. So I don't know, this bag is really expensive, but you might see it pop up on my wish list or in my closet sometime in the near future. We'll see. Now this next luxury brand is one that I actually don't hear much about on YouTube. And I don't know why, because they are an amazing Italian fashion house. I believe they're based in Milan, if I'm not mistaken. And they sell in Bergdorf's in Neiman Marcus because they have incredible craftsmanship and quality in terms of their bags. So it's the brand Velextra. So Velextra makes beautiful bags. I remember I first started hearing about them back when I lived in New York. So it was like 2013, 2014. And their bags are, if you want a more understated, but super luxurious feel, very contemporary, very streamlined. And I am in love with their soft medium tote bag. Now, I think that this bag is really nice again, because clearly I like understated. Well, I mean, I did just fall in love with like that Fendi logo bag, but I love understated bags and I love ones that you know they're super luxurious, even if everyone else doesn't. And this one totally fits the bill. It is a beautiful shoulder bag that's got, you know, soft, supple leather all the way around. And I really like that it's got the detail of the straps hanging down to make it a little bit different. And also, again, it's one of these, like, if you know, you know, understated flexes in the luxury community. Anyone who knows a lot about handbags is going to recognize that this is a Velextra bag and they're going to know that it costs you $18.50 to buy it. So 
It is expensive, again, not prohibitively expensive, but an amazing bag. Now this is an open bag, so I'm pretty sure there aren't any types of organizational compartments in there, but I just love that it's like that beautiful unlined finish. So it feels very natural, very contemporary, very organic. And again, it's got those thicker leather straps, so it's not going to dig in. And it comes in a few different beautiful leathers. I really like their blacks and their navies. I think they're stunning. So if you haven't heard about Velextra and you're curious, go into Neiman Marcus or Bergdorf's and see if they carry it in store there for you. Or if not, you can also take a look online because Velextra is a beautiful brand that makes bags with incredible craftsmanship. So I really recommend it. Now this next bag that we're gonna talk about is one that you might think you saw on Isabel's video, but I'm actually looking at a different version. It is the Ferragamo Gancini tote. Now the one that Isabel showed you, I think think she showed it to you in the logo version is their typical tote style which has a very similar shape to the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. It's got a little leather flap over the top which is an amazing bag and it's also a great price point. It is I believe right around a thousand dollars and they've got it in logo and leathers but the Gancini tote that I want to talk to you about is a little bit different and it is their more structured version. Now this is a super elegant bag so if you're looking for something a little bit more classed up, something maybe a little bit more professional if you're going into the workplace, I can't recommend this bag enough. It's got this really beautiful shape. It kind of reminds me of like the Celine Cabas tote and Phantom totes because it goes out a little bit more. And it's still got the beautiful little branding with the Ferragamo ring that's signature to Ferragamo. So again, like people are gonna know you're flexing on them with a Ferragamo bag. But I do still feel that this bag is really understated. If you don't want the Ferragamo ring to show, just wear it on the inside. And then people are just gonna think that you have this beautiful structured bag. And I think for the amount of craftsmanship that's gone into this bag, the price is really good. Even though the price is a little bit more than the other Gancini tote, which is right around the thousand, this one is 1750, but I think you can't beat all of the structure that this bag has and it comes in these beautiful leathers. I love Ferragamo leather, and I've got this beautiful like oxblood maroon color here for you guys to see, but I think if I were to buy this bag, I would probably buy it in the black color just because I love black. So there you have it. Those are my recommendations for alternatives to the Louis Vuitton Neverfull that I think, you know, in their own special ways, all kind of tick the boxes of being classic, elegant, durable, and also functional for your everyday life. Now let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, if you all have any of these bags, please be sure to let me know your thoughts and if I missed any pros and cons. Again, I only had two of the bags on the list, so I'm sure you all know a lot more about some of these bags. So please put it in the comments below. Also, if you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you wanna get more content about all things shopping and luxury delivered straight to you. Thanks so much for watching. I can't wait to see you next time. Bye everyone.